So I actually bought a new Nintendo 2DS XL in 2022 and this might seem like a bad decision but I'm going to go over why I got this and whether or not I think it's a good decision to get one in 2022. So I was browsing eBay for 3DSs and 2DSs to see if they were actually a good price and, and I was wanting one that came with a few games with it so I would have a lot of stuff to play at the beginning and I found some that had really cool games and this one actually came with a lot of games so I decided to buy it. I think it was £110 so I found a new Nintendo 2DS XL which was pre-owned. The actual model is called new Nintendo 2DS. DS XL is not an actual new one, it was pre-owned before. And yeah, it came with these games here, which I thought was a really good bundle. So I decided to buy that one because it had a lot of the games I was wanting to get, and it was actually cheaper than a lot of other ones that didn't even come with any games, so I thought it'd be a really good one to get, and I think the reason it was like a bit cheaper was because it kind of looks disgusting, there's some weird gross mould on it, but I really didn't care about that as long as it worked, and the screen looked fine, and the buttons looked good, and yeah, it works really well, and there's no issues I've had with it so far. And so yeah, I was really excited with my purchase, as I've got a lot of good games with it, and I've also bought some other other games and a big reason I got this was because I have my 208 games in one DS cartridge thing. I don't know how happy Nintendo would be if they knew I had that but these things are really good. It comes with loads of classic DS games. There aren't any 3DS games on there. It literally has all of my favourite games from the DS that I used to play growing up like all the Mario ones and it has Zelda games. It has loads of Pokemon games and Animal Crossing Wild World and just a bunch of stuff. Loads of awful ones as well which I haven't touched but I'm sure there are many good ones I haven't even noticed yet. And I went over this cartridge in a different video. There are some issues with it. It has crashed before a few times, which is kind of annoying, but I try and make sure to save my game as often as possible now, ever since that happened. So I got the 2DS so I could experience that on a big screen and get all the good 3DS games as well, because those are some of the coolest games I know. And I have a lot of 3DS games in mind that I'm going to try and get before the eShop goes down. So basically I did buy this before I knew that the 3DS eShop was going to be closed down soon. A lot of you might be thinking like, oh yeah, 2022 was a bad year to buy the 3DS in. But I wasn't really too bothered about that because I haven't bought any games on the 3DS eShop previously and all of my games I buy are on cartridge for this. There is one issue that maybe could happen where these games on cartridge go up in price a lot because of them not being on the eShop as well. But I've pretty much got most of the games I want so far. There's a few ones I would like to get in the future like Tomodachi Life and Animal Crossing New Leaf. There's also Pokemon X and Y which I might want to get one of those but I've heard they're not the best Pokemon games and I've played all of the other ones that are on 3DS but I gave the copies away to my friend recently so that's why I no longer have the Pokemon ones because I finished them. So some of the games that I wanted to play on a 3DS, which is why I bought it, is Luigi's Mansion 2, as I've previously played Luigi's Mansion 1 and Luigi's Mansion 3, which is on Nintendo Switch, and I had such a good time with those games. But, so it's weird that I play 1 and 3 and I have to play number 2 now, because it would be very odd playing those ones and not playing the one in between them, especially as I did have such a good time playing both of the games. So I actually bought this game from CEX um, for £8, no, £12, and I got Skate 3 as well at the same time, because that's a really cool game that I've always wanted to try. But yeah, £12, I don't know if that's a good price for a pre game but a lot of the other ones like Animal Crossing were 20 pounds there so it was quite a bit cheaper than the other 3DS games because I don't think it's like as popular maybe. I haven't played too much of it because I only just recently got it and I got it after they announced the eShop closing so you can still get 3DS games even if people are panicking about that. And I really liked the intro to it, it's got cool controls and looks really nice on the 3DS, especially on the big screen. Oh yeah and I got the 2DS because it was like cheaper than the 3DS and I don't think I'd even use the 3D function. It's quite a cool thing but it's never really been the thing for me. I feel like it might hurt my eyes, I don't know. I haven't used it that much. I've played my friend's ones and it looks cool, but I'm not fussed about it. And then I've also got New Super Mario Bros. 2, which is the only Mario Bros. game that I haven't played yet. So I just really wanted to get that, and it came with the DS that I ordered, so it was a perfect bundle for me to get because that's one of the games that I wanted to try the most. It's actually probably one of my least favourite New Super Mario Bros. games. It doesn't seem to have the charm. It's probably just nostalgia for the other games, I'm guessing, because is similar but I just don't enjoy it as much. I'm not a big fan of the coin collecting gimmick because I've never really cared about coins. But the levels look really nice actually. It is good and I can't really say my full thoughts on it because I haven't played all the way through yet. I feel like it's a lot easier than the other ones so far. They're all kind of easy but in a nice way. I'm not hating on it as just not my favourite one out of the set because I much prefer New Super Mario Bros Wii and DS, like the original two. Those ones are amazing and I know a lot of other people have been saying the series is getting old now and kind of agree there isn't too much new stuff in it now. So yeah, I understand like the series is kind of getting stale and they're gonna have to do something new for the 2D Mario. But other games I got was Mario the Top 100. This isn't the most exciting Mario party for me because we've got the new one on Switch which has like the Top 100 mini games and boards as well because it's mainly only mini games on the 3DS one. There isn't really a board game with really cool boards you can go around. So it's not my favorite Mario party but I've heard some of the other Mario party games on 3DS are really not the best. So this one is a pretty good collection of some of the most popular mini games 
games, and I like it. It's fun for playing in short bursts, but I can't really get too much out of it. And I've also got Mario & Luigi Dream Team, which is a really cool Mario & Luigi game, and I've always wanted to get into these because I enjoy the Paper Mario games, and it's kind of like the handheld equivalent to that, I guess, because it's another RPG. The storyline's really cool, and the art style I really like. I'd love to actually see a 2D Mario in the art style of this instead of the new Super Mario Bros. art style. And I thought this was a better option than getting Paper Mario Sticker Star, because we all know how that game turned out. And I just love the puzzle aspect of this, and the RPG elements are cool as well, because I like how you have to actually time your attacks, you don't just choose one, and it does it for you. So yeah, there's a lot of cool features in this one I like, and I definitely recommend it. And this was a big game that I wanted to try. And then I've also got like classic ones such as Mario Kart 7, because I just love all of the Mario Karts, they're one of my favourite games ever. And I've got Mario 3D Land, which is my least favourite 3D Mario game, but only because all of the other ones are so amazing, and they were limited with the system's hardware, so it's not like a massive 3D adventure compared to the other ones, but this one has a ton of levels to go through. And I've completed the main levels of that game, and it was super good. I definitely recommend that one to anyone buying a 3DS. It came with this random Cars DS game, which I haven't actually played yet, but surprisingly when I was a kid, I had the Cars Wii game, and that one was really fun. I don't know if it was just because I was very young and didn't really know if games were good or not, but I seemed to enjoy it a lot. And I also had the Disney Infinity Cars playset, which I found amazing at the time. I don't know how fun it would be now, but it seemed to be a really cool open world where you can go around doing missions. So I don't think the DS game will be anything like those because it's probably a much smaller game on DS. But I'll try and give it a go soon and maybe I'll talk about it in another video. But it looks funny, I don't know, it was kind of a random game for them to throw in there. And I appreciate it, thank you to whoever sold it to me. So yeah, the games I've got so far I've had a really good time with, and I'll just say I don't regret buying this at all, it's been really good, I take it on like the trains and the buses because I have to travel sometimes to visit my family and stuff like that, and it's really good for that. And the time literally flies by if I have my DS. I actually get excited for long journeys because of it because I can just chill and sit down and play some games. And yeah, one issue I had with it when I got it was there was a parental code on it and the person I bought it from would not tell me at all. I kept like messaging them. I was like, I need this code. I want to change it because I can't actually connect to online or the eShop. And they didn't tell me, but then I just found like a website. You can somehow, like, I don't know how it does it. It like hacks it, but I don't think it hacks it. It somehow got rid of the code for me. And I was very happy about that because I couldn't find it for a long time when I first got the DS. I didn't know you could actually just use a website and that saved me a phone called cool to Nintendo which probably would have been a lot more frustrating. So I've got everything working on the DS now and it's just been so fun. So yeah some of the games I want to get soon are the Zelda ones especially A Link Between Worlds because I heard that's an amazing game for the Nintendo 3DS and it's like a top-down Zelda which I've only played the 3D ones the one I've played the most is Breath of the Wild so this will be quite a different experience for me and I've seen so many good reviews about the game it looks like it could be the best top-down Zelda game maybe but I'll have to get that so yeah I want Zelda A Link Between Worlds. I'd like to get Animal Crossing New Leaf, as I know it's kind of a different experience to Animal Crossing New Horizons, so I'd like to try that out. And then Tomodachi Life is one I really want to get. That just looks like a chill game where you use your Miis and it's kind of like The Sims, but has Nintendo charm to it. And that sounds like a really cool idea. I've seen Let's Plays of it when I was younger and I've always wanted to get it, so now I can get it myself. So yeah, this purchase was very good, even though it's 2022 and the eShop's closing. It's still worth it, in my opinion, to get one. Just if you find one with a lot of games and it's a good price and you love the games, like you know you're going to enjoy them, then buying a 3DS if you don't already have one or like yours is broken, I still think it's a good idea because there's a lot of games on the 3DS which are not on any other console because like the Nintendo Switch can't really have DS or 3DS games on it, unlike the Wii U, how all of those games have just been ported onto the Switch. So I think the 3DS is a better offer to get than a Wii U. Those are my thoughts on getting a 3DS in 2022 and that's my experience with it. I've had so much fun playing them so far. But let me know in the comments if you want any other information on my DS. I might have missed some stuff on some games that like you can ask about other games that I might have tried and I'll try and reply to all of your comments and I really hope you liked this video. If you did make sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and you enjoy Nintendo content. I'll try and do a lot more in the future and anyway and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.